Thousands of miles have been traveled. Millions of voices have been heard. And because of what you said, because you decided the change must come to Washington, because you believed that this year must be different than all the rest, because, because you chose to listen not to your doubts or your fears, but to your greatest hopes and highest aspirations. Tonight we mark the end of one historic journey with the beginning of another. A journey A journey that will bring a new and better day to America. Because of you, tonight I can stand here and say that I will be the Democratic nominee for the President of the United States of America. Election? Uh, such an easy question. Barack Obama, hands down. Why can't you vote for him? First of all, he's going to be the first black president ever I'm thrilled about. Second of all, he's all about universal health care. And third, he's just cool. He's like one of the coolest presidents ever. Who can sit back and smoke a cigarette and say, I'm cool, and be like, I'm Barack Obama? End of story. Hillary Clinton, I'm glad you're gone. I'm voting for Barack Obama because I like him. He's a very good candidate. It's about damn time. And he speaks for the issues. And the one issue I like the most is that his economic plans for his term. <laughs> uh, yeah, I would vote for uh, Obama, I think. Uh, it's good to have the young come in, have the old. Uh, I think he'll be better with his uh, health care plan. I don't know. I think mean, I like his ideas better than McCain. I really couldn't tell you. I'm voting for Barack Obama. Why? Oh, um, because I think that he's a good speaker. Uh, I like what he has to say. He's definitely more appealing to the, young, the younger crowd, um, and doesn't have replay balls. I'm voting for Barack Obama in the next election because of his position on the Iraq War. Of all the presidential candidates, he has decided that he would rather pull out before any of the others. Hillary Clinton offered 2013, John McCain said it would be a hundred year war. Barack Obama told General Paytas that he would pull out as soon as possible. I'm voting for uh, Senator Obama in the next election. I'm voting for him because I want the war to end. I have too many friends over there. And also because the running mate might be John Edwards, who voted for the primaries. So, alright. For the 2008 election, I'll be voting for Barack Obama. Uh, on different views, health care, uh, pulling out troops in the war in Iraq. Uh, especially the war in Iraq. Uh, cause I not care for the troops, and I don't believe in the war. So. Go ahead. Hi, my name is Daniel Trotman. I'm a senior math comm major here at Georgia College. Um, I haven't completely made up my mind about the political process. Um, I get a little bit tired of watching how I live on TV, to be honest with you. But if I were to vote for one person today, it would be Barack Obama. Uh, I like his uh, charisma. I like the, the energy he brings to his political race. He's changed the way we view politics, um, not taking the, the political money, um, changing the way we kind of view the way this country should be run. Um, even though I'm really in support of what he's doing right now, I'm not entirely on his boat simply because I, I don't believe you can ever completely support one candidate. I have issues that I feel are really important to me. Abortion, um, stem cell research, uh, how um, Iraq is going to be handled, um, the economy right now, the housing bubble. It's a lot of different things that, that are going to weigh in my choice. Um, right now, McCain is, n I'm not really feeling him. I have my views about why I don't really want to vote for him. They may sound weird, but he's really old. And this put, when you're president, it really weighs on you. It's a tough job to have. And you can't be old going into it. It's going to age you like 20 years anyway. Um, we need somebody who's young, brings a fresh view to everything. Um, I also don't trust McCain just because of him being a POW. I believe he's still got a lot of pent up anger about that. And I'm afraid of him being commander in chief going into Iraq saying we're going to do this and that. I think Barack has a better policy about it, but I do believe he's going to have to change his viewpoint about Iraq. He came into this race saying he was going to pull us out quickly. Iraq is now stabilizing. Sunnis are now against the, um, the group 
of the insurgents and so it, it's starting to get better it's starting to level off there's less violence in the um neighborhoods i believe he's got to change his viewpoint but overall i think barack holds the advantage the nra is now putting more money into how they're going to go up against barack so we're going to see what happens but if it's up to me i would pick barack obama right now i am very grateful for the broad support you have given our campaign and I am very, very grateful and pleased to note that tonight, my friends, we have won enough delegates to claim with confidence, humility, and a great sense of responsibility that I will be the Republican nominee for President. Sarah. Um, and today I've been asked by these wonderful girls to, uh, hey, how you doing? Uh, to uh, talk about the presidential election. Um, beat that. No. <laughs> what um, I'm going to vote for the Republicans because F the Democrats because they're all garbage. They want to pass. I mean, I like the Democrats and stuff, but I don't like what they're going for. Uh, they want to have national health health care, which is effing horrible. That means, like, my profession, I want to be an anesthesiologist. If that was to pass, that means I would make, like, shit for all the school I went to with money. So, and then Hillary and Obama, be serious. Come on. For the 2008 election. Uh, right now, I'm leaning towards John McCain. All right. Reasoning behind that? Uh, well, John McCain brings to the table, I think, some much-needed leadership when it comes to the war on terrorism. Um, the fact is, is we're already over there, so the best thing we need to do now is to finish the job that we've had already started. And I think he's probably the best way to go about doing that. You know, you've got a lot of candidates who are inexperienced in certain things, but I think he brings to the table some much-needed okay. leadership. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, I'm voting for McCain. And the reasons are, um, he's not going to pull out the troops. He's going to protect my son, who's in the Air Force. Um, he also uh, is not going to do away with the, the tax cuts that um, Bush put in place. So that gives me more money. Matter of fact, the, the Bush tax cut and that little rebate check just bought me a washer and dryer this week. So <laughs> thank you, Bush. <laughs> God bless. And um, he has good values. He uh, stands for a lot of things for um, the Christians. And I'm for that. That's all. Well, I'm voting for Obama because I agree with all of his pitches and his ideas, and I think he holds um, a great plan for the future of America. So. Um, I'm voting for John McCain because he's not my first choice, but there's just some issues on the, the that a lot of the Democrats are going for that I just don't feel like voting for. I'm voting for McCain because I'm not a huge fan of Obama and don't really like some of the things he talks about. The election I'll be voting for John McCain for two primary reasons. One, in today's day and age, you need military experience to be the commander in chief of the strongest military in the world. Number two, Barack Obama just flat out does not have any experience. He's shown that he can't, number one, can't control his wife. If you can't keep one of your number one people in your life from embarrassing you in public, you really can't control an entire nation. Uh, yeah, I'm going to be voting for McCain. My issues with Obama is his foreign policy and the war issues in the Middle East. Uh, he's, 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 he's big on corporation taxes and I think he should lower taxes on corporations because the corporations are the only people right now who are really making the country function while we're in a very deep recession, I'd say. Uh, his foreign policy, the war in Iraq, uh, I think it's going to be a mis mistake if we just take the troops and send them back home. You know, if the mission hasn't been done, I think he should just wait until the mission is really accomplished. We've lost a lot of money, we lost a lot of soldiers out there. So it's kind of unfair to those people to just get the troops back while the mission has not been done yet. Um, other things, I think, I think he's going to be, he's going to impose new taxes in terms of the middle class, which is, which is totally not, not good, at least for us, because 
most of us is considered middle class here in Georgia College and State University. Uh, I don't know what else. What what other issues he's got? Yeah, I'm I'm more I'm more voting for for Republican. I know that for a fact. And if Hillary was running, I'd probably vote for her. But no.